Assalamu alaikum everyone how are you hope you guys are fine and welcome to the to our channel hana facts today we are going to learn about the 10 mind tricks number 1 to learn anything fast uh, now let's begin we have a number 1 that is the sleep sandwich imagine you have an important presentation and only one day to prepare how do you learn a lot of information in the least amount of a time most people try cramming they study their notes and review their lines for hours they will put all put all in all uh, nighter uh, if they have to but despite of their hard work they ended up forgetting about the 50 portion of the stuff they wanted to remember most of the content they crammed into their head never sees the light of the day why is the, that because it is never find a place in the long term memory you can expose your brain to countless new stimuli but it all only retain a small percentage of them because you need time to store information in your memory that's a problem with the late night cram session you are not giving your brain the chance to encode all the stuff that you need to remember That's the number one reason why scientists recommend the sleep sandwich instead of one long study session. You should study sleep and then study some more. The sleep sandwich is an excellent way to learn faster because sleep helps you to retain more information. In fact, storing memories is one of the most important function of a good night sleep. While your conscious goes uh, to the bed. your unconsciousness is actively storing all kind of stuff in your long term memory but when you pull an all nighter you are preventing your brain from actually learning and retaining those memories not to mention you are hunting your brain's overall performance tiredness leaves your brain feeling foggy slow and unproductive uh, so come on don't bother study until 4 in the morning if you need to excuse in some last minute learning study for a few hours get a good night sleep and then pick up where you left off in the morning okay now we have a trick number 2 mastery through modification have you ever heard of the illusion of a mastery it's a common pitfall that you might run into when learning something new If you study for a few hours you get a handle on a few basic tricks and suddenly hey you think your master learning th- to draw is a great example many people think of themselves as competent artist after one good sketch they see the quality of their first drawing and they assume they know everything they need to know it feels easy boring even but just because something feels simple doesn't means you have it mastered so how do you stop yourself from falling into this trap a great way to re- really learn any subject is to use modification let's say that you have gotten really good at drawing faces from the front it's a start uh, starting to seems a little stale and you feel like you are not learning anything so It's time to put yourself to the test. Just make a small modifi- modification to your original routine. Draw a face from a slightly different angle. Yeah, challenge yourself to go faster or use a different drawing tool. Each one of these minor changes uh, basically play a vital role. Okay, and they, in that's how you can use a different uh, uh, challenge as a critical role. They stop. uh your practice from becoming a boring or repetitive they help you to work on your weaknesses and most importantly they keep you humble throughout the learning process number 3 waving subjects in 2008 a group of researchers discovered something count uh, counter initiative about learning you will learn something faster by studying something else In this study, researcher asked people to identify certain artists based on uh, six of their painting. 
half of the participants saw each art artist painting in a box while the other half saw their painting all scrambled together oh, who do you think retain more information the scrambled group performed slightly significantly better hmm why is that well because interweaving different styles and subject help solidify new information in your memory number four chewing gum some people chewing gum to freshen their breath others just like that minty fruity taste but did you know that chewing gum could help your brain to learn faster a series of studies found that chewing gum has all kind of con uh, conjunctive or uh, quantitative uh, benefits for starter people who chewing gum tend to be more alert and experience less stress this was first discovered by a 2011 study which had people take a number of quizzes in a distracting environment under normal circumstances the chiro testing room would thrown people off it was designed to create anxiety and significantly lower their productivity but even in that distracting uh, environment people who were chewing gum stay, uh, stayed more focused and proceed uh, less stress related hormones in other words chewing gum helped them to stay calm and concentrate oh but it's that's not all a 2009 study discovered that the act of a chewing gum uh, makes uh, you more vigilant and lengthen your attention span in 2015 another group showed that chewing gum helps you to stay happy and motivated while you work two more studies from the early 2000s found the different flavors of a gum actually make your brain more respective and flexible obviously there are dozens of studies showing the many advantages of this very simple habit it's helped you learn faster perform better and concentrate longer so the next time you sit down to walk don't forget to grab a stick of the gum number five intellectual hydration did you know something as simple as a glass of water can boost your brain power a 2012 study discovered the hydration during a test can have a huge impact on your weight in fact College students who drank more water during the exam performed up to the 10% better. That's a full letter grade higher. Uh, because of a few sip of water, now of course hydration doesn't just affect your uh, test taking skill. It helps you to digest information, store more memories and solve more complicated problems. Why is that? Well, because water keeps your brain functional, uh, functioning like it's supposed to. But here's the best part. There really is no wrong time or a place to stay hydrated. Let's say you are sitting down on your couch to enjoy a book. It could only take a few extra minutes to make yourself a cup of a tea. But that one cup does a lot more than just keep your body hydrated. According to a 2014 study, it's quickness your short term memory strengthens your long-term memory and leaves you feeling enthusiastic about learning something new so whenever you are studying reading or even listening to a podcast grab something to drink trust me your brain will thank you for it number six multiple medium do you study the same way every single time have you been using flashcard or study guide for every test that you have taken if you have you might need to mix things up try using multiple mediums while you study you could use flashcard draw a diagram or say the information out loud by blending these style together you actively uh, new parts of a uh, brain of your brain store more details sensory information and begin understanding concept of different perspectives so don't fall back on the same old track every time experiment with multiple mediums to learn more information faster number seven speed read the average person can read about 200 words per minute that's around two minutes per page yeah i know that seems fast but it is not as impressive as it sounds in fact that's the same speed people used to read a hundred years ago but here's a problem 
the total amount of information in the world is doubling every single year so how do you keep up the simplest answer is the also the best if you can absorb information faster you can learn faster in a matter of a weeks you can teach yourself to read between 700 and 7 and thousands words per minute you won't be able to read everything the world world has to offer but you will definitely blaze through a good chunk of it number eight musical stress relief many people can't study without a music in the background some people swear it help uh, them be more productive other need music to concentrate so that raised the question does music really help you learn faster many studies have shown that the music makes your mind more respective to new information it also improves your memory by engaging different areas of the brain but the biggest advantage of listening to music often flies under the radar music is a major stress reliever it significantly reduces that uh, uh, stress and reliever significantly reduces test anxiety and increases overall feeling of relaxation so you can perform at your best in other words music boosts your mood it speeds up your uh, conditions and it helps you to think clearly this means you uh, can be more confident and productive no matter what you are working on number nine practice in peace what happened when you read through all your notes in uh, one sitting how much do you really remember probably a le not lot less than you hope the human brain isn't designed to store massive vol volumes of information at the same time we can interact with all kinds of stimuli every day you hear thousands of sounds and see millions of a sheep but your long-term memory is a lot slower that's why practicing is uh, in a piece is such an effective way to learn learn instead of spending a whole day going through all your notes just go through a few pages each day if you spend smaller chunks of a time learning small chunks of information they then you will find yourself retaining a whole lot more number 10 the hard road when you have to learn something new you probably start searching for a shortcuts right everyone wants to know the fastest and easiest way to memorize things but the truth is taking the hard road is almost always more efficient in the long run take something like handwriting your notes it's uh, a lot slower than typing and less convenient but those handwriting written notes really stick in your memory then even uh, if it is, seems like a waste of time you would have to retype your notes again and again to have the same connective uh, impact my point is here to shortcuts don't always help you to learn faster more often than not the most challenging path is also the most effective one so thank you for watching the Tana effect and 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 like and share to sure and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way now. Allah Hafiz.